Victoria Nice here with a look at Credits Are Due, my new script for After Effects CC 2015 that helps you build fast, flexible, easy to edit credit scrolls. And yes, I said CC 2015. This script takes advantage of all the cool new stuff they've done with expressions, but that unfortunately means that it's not really backwards compatible. You can also open things you make with it in the most recent version of CC 2014, but if you try to actually work in there, you're going to have a bad time. Now, if you're starting from scratch, make a new comp, then click this button here to add a scroller. The scroller is the master control for your sequence. If you look at its effects panel, these are your global settings. Let's add some elements. I'm holding down shift while I do this, so I don't have to deselect between additions. Otherwise, if you click a button while layers are still selected, that will reassign their element type instead of creating a new layer. You'll notice the scroller stays at the top of the layer stack, and everything below it scrolls in order from top to bottom. If I want to rearrange any of these sections, I just move them up and down in the timeline. If you want to add an image to your scroll, drop it wherever you want it in the stack. This will temporarily break the entire thing. With the image selected, click to assign it a layer type, and everything snaps back to where it should be. You can import text layers the same way instead of creating them with the script. Regardless of how you create your layers, once they've all been assigned an element type, they'll scroll happily along. This does also mean that if you have bits you don't want to scroll, like a background image, audio track, or maybe some static cards before the scroll starts, you'll need to nest the scroll inside its own pre-comp. When you've roughed everything in and it's time to customize things, control click to select all the layers of a certain type. Then you can do whatever you want with them style-wise, and Credits Are Due will update their spacing accordingly. But what if your clients want to change the left and right hand columns into centered text? Control click, click. Control click, click. Done. While we're moving stuff around, let's talk about multi-columns. If you click the button with nothing selected, you get three placeholder columns. But you can select any number of layers, click the button, and it will distribute them horizontally. Now we can go back to our global settings. You can change the scroll speed, spacing between sections, and horizontal position. These are a great way to adjust for timing after your clients make a ton of changes. Because your clients are going to make a ton of changes. I can't stop them, but I do hope Credits Are Due makes those changes a little easier. It's available now from AEScripts.com.